Before I continue with my speech, I'd like to thank the orchestra for playing Pomp and Circumstance and the banner singers for singing the national anthem in the alma mater. Orchestra, you don't get a knowledge often, but I personally know the patience and stamina required to play that song 10 plus times. Manor singers, the time you put in to make sure each note and phrase is sung perfectly is also underappreciated. Thank you. Without further ado, good evening, everyone. 
My name is Nicole Chen, and I have been given the distinct honor of welcoming you to the 2023 commencement ceremony, a day which we've all known was going to happen, but never really thought about until perhaps a week ago, or perhaps today. Or maybe you're like me and have had a countdown going on since kindergarten. I welcome the members of the school board, the principals, and administration. Welcome to our teachers. A special thank you goes out to Mrs. Simowitz and Mrs. Masson, the two teachers I've known the longest and have definitely supported me the most. Thank you, Mrs. Simowitz, for going above and beyond what your job requires and for amusing us with your driving. The mini docu-series on your driving will be continued. Thank you, Mrs. Masson, for championing the music department each year fiercely and for the t funny stories you share. Thank you, Mr. Matusik and Mr. Zimmerman, for not only helping me make my course schedule as rigorous as possible, but also for helping me to realize that I am capable, capable of living outside a definition. Thank you, Mrs. Grenier, Mr. Corrado, Ms. Stover, and Mr. Marchio, for supporting my vision of math and HS, and for being faithful advisors to the club. Welcome to our family and relatives. As high school teenagers, we're certainly difficult to put up with, so thank you all for putting up with us for the last 18 years and beyond since you're not getting rid of us that easily. <laughs> thank you for all that you do because you truly were our first teachers. I'd like to thank my mom and dad as well. Mom and dad, because of your attention to my academics and your hard work in our family restaurant for the past 25 years, I can stand here today and say I will be attending Cornell University in the fall. Finally, welcome class of 2023. Today is a day like no other, and I'm serious about that. You'll never have more energy, enthusiasm, hair, or brain cells than you will ever have today. <laughs> I stand here before you, looking back at the legacy we have individually and collectively made. Some of us started clubs we have never seen before. Some of us wrote and published our own books. Some of us decided to take a leap of faith and move out of our comfort zone. Some of us set records that have inspired our peers. And some of us were so desperate for salt that we started bringing in our own salt from home. All of us grew one way or another. As we graduate tonight, we must keep in mind that we are the future, and it is our calling as the next generation to lead the world into the kind of future we yearn for, a future where we choose to love regardless of our differences. But what does it mean to lead? Presidential candidates will tell you to win the hearts of the people. Your bosses and managers may say that leading is to make sure others are doing their job. Businessmen will say that you'll need enthusiasm and charisma. Our teachers will tell you to lead by example. Julius Caesar will tell you to lead at the front. The alpha of a wolf pack, if he could speak the human language, will tell you to lead at the back. I think we can all agree that there's no one specific leadership style. And if there are so many leadership styles to choose from and no one correct style, the question becomes, how should I lead? Although, although different styles of leadership will work for the different people, I have found that the one that works best for me is servant leadership. This is the type of leadership that wins you the hearts of the people you serve without you even realizing it. It is a leadership style that develops deep, meaningful relationships with those you impact. This is the type of leadership in which a leader loves the people they serve so deeply that they are willing to lay down their life for another. And on a personal note, it is the leadership Jesus used. As Jesus once said, whoever wants to be a leader among you must become your servant. The best leaders are the best servants. Instead of competing with each other for the next best thing, instead of care comparing ourselves to someone more or less fortunate than we are, instead of letting pride get in the way, perhaps our mindset should be to not ask how others can serve you, but rather how you can serve others. Thank you, Mr. Ryan King, for drilling the use of chiasmus into us. It's actually useful in this case. Good leadership is never really about leading. It's about serving and having the humility to do what is considered lowly work. It's about sacrifice. It's about choosing to love other people no matter how much you may disagree with them. And sometimes it means failing miserably and having the honesty to admit you are wrong. Class of 2023, we graduate tonight. Tonight, there's a strong chance someone will tell our group of graduates dressed in the same cap, same gown, and same tassel that individuality is the key to success. Tonight, we walk across the stage, receive our diplomas, and flash an archaic smile at the crowd so that our family and friends can take pictures. It is our turn to lead. It is our turn to step up to the plate and build upon what previous generations have left behind for us. 
No matter which path you are destined to take and no matter where life leads you, I urge you to do so with the mindset of a servant leader. Each of us has the ability to change the world for the better. As we celebrate this momentous occasion, let's not forget to have some fun. Congratulations again, class of 2023. Here's to a bright and prosperous future. Thank you. Good evening. I stand before you today as a proud principal of Penn Manor High School, welcoming you all to this 2023 commencement ceremony. Allow me to express my heartfelt gratitude to Mr. Rents, Dr. Fullerton, and esteemed members of the Penn Manor Board of School District. Dr. Gale, my fellow administrators, and this magnificent faculty and staff who have dedicated themselves to the success of our students. Thank you to Franklin Marshall, and all those who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes. Thank you for making this event possible. I also want to extend a special thank you to Cindy Bachman and Keith Henninger for their invaluable support and effort through this journey. I would not be remiss by not recognizing the true stars of this evening, the family, friends, and parents who supported our graduates every step of the way. Whether you're here with us or in person or joining us online, streaming on Pitt Manor, uh, YouTube, your unconditional love and encouragement have played a significant role in shaping these young minds. Today, today we gather to honor this and celebrate the remarkable class of 2023. Dear graduates, I'm bursting with pride as I reflect on the incredible individuals you have become. These past four years has presented you with unprecedented challenges, and yet you have emerged stronger, more resilient, and ready to conquer the world. It is often said that personal growth is forged through adversity, and I firmly believe that you're prepared to embrace the challenges that await you in the future. Allow me to share an inspirational story, one that reminds me of the power of pursuing our dreams. It is a tale of a young dreamer who dared to defy convention and follow his passion against all odds. In the world, way back in the world, of traditional media such as newspapers, radio, TV were supreme, this dreamer found a niche in an art of technology and innovation. With a strong curiosity and a burning desire for technology, this individual decided to tackle a brand new platform at the time called YouTube. You've never heard of that. In 2008. Armed with a camera and a keen eye, he delved into the realm of consumer technology, shared his insights with the world. Challenges and barriers were in his path, but he reminded he remained unfazed in his pursuit. After one year of content creation, and 100 videos, he only had 74 subscribers. He would then go on to average making 100 videos a year for the next 12 years. He constantly researched and reflected on his content. He decided to share his experience, which earned him the respect and, admir and admiration among his YouTube contemporaries. After 13 years, he is now known as, well, as one of the best reviewers in the world. At the ripe old age of 29, he currently has 16.9 million subscribers and has created over 1.5 thousand videos. This dreamer is no other than Marquez Brownlee, which is one of my favorite content creators. Marquez's story serves as a powerful reminder that the pursuit of a dream is not quick or easy. It is a journey that requires continuous learning, adapting, and willingness to embrace the failure as your stepping stones to success. Through his videos, Marquez has inspired countless individuals to embrace technology and innovation. Class of 2023, as, I, as you stand on the precipice of your future, remember that you hold with you the power to create, inspire, and make a profound impact on your world and community. Embrace your passions, nurture your talents, and never shy away from the pursuit of your dreams. Today we celebrate your accomplishment, but this is merely the beginning. With determination, support, and belief in your own potential, you will rise above any challenge that stands in your way. Embrace the journey that lies ahead, for in the pursuit of your dreams, you can find your true purpose. So congratulations to the class of 2023. Enjoy this evening with your family and friends, and always, go Comets.
Good evening. I'm honored to stand up here today before you and congratulate you, Class of 2023, for all of your tenacity and dedication over the last four years that has finally led us to this moment. But it is important to note that we did not make it here on our own. Thank you to the administration, teachers and faculty, our families, and all other individuals involved in making this event possible to celebrate our accomplishments. And a special thank you to whoever decided to hold this ceremony in an air-conditioned venue this year, saving us from melting on the turf in 80-degree weather. First, I would like to thank some people who have made a major impact on me these last four years. Mrs. Ames, thank you for instilling my love for science and for teaching me how to apply concepts rather than just memorize. To Mr. Peace for challenging me and teaching me to learn to fail, literally, but also to keep trying and move on. To Mrs. May for forcing me to think deeper and analyze beyond what's on the surface. To my friends and family for keeping me balanced and grounded. And to my biggest teacher of all, my mom, because even though she refused to actually be my teacher in middle school, she has taught me to be strong, resilient, and to persevere through even the toughest challenges. As I began writing this speech, I thought about everything I have learned this past year. One particular lesson in Mr. Ryan King's English class stuck out to me the most. For those who are not familiar with the poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost, I will read it for you. Two roads diverged in yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps a better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that the passing there had borne them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay, and leaves no step had trod in black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that made all the difference. This poem evaluates the importance of our life choices. We have all traveled different paths to get to this point today, each of us enduring our own difficulties and challenges along the way. While some of us had to climb over large, uprooted trees, others hopped across a few stones. Throughout high school, many of our paths even intertwined, whether it was a friendly gesture in the hallway or a lifelong friendship. We are a collection of the people we meet. As we move forward, our lines may or may not intersect again, but we are so lucky to have made these last four years an everlasting memory. As we neared this finish line, many of us probably thought we were never even going to make it, but we did, and in some ways you could say we did it together. It is the decisions that we made walking through these halls this, the last four years, and for some of us, as many as 13 years at Penn Manor that has molded us into who we are today. But as we look back, we often dwell on the things we could have done differently. What if I would have taken this class instead or joined this club? But as the poem emphasizes, we must continue to look forward. We must continue to persevere and be tenacious. As we embark on this next path of life, many of us, like myself, are filled with both excitement and fear for what's to come. As ironic as it sounds, fear is not something to be afraid of, though. It is one of our most powerful emotions. I mean, why do you think we run faster when somebody is chasing us or actually clean our rooms when mom is mad at us? US poet John Berryman once said, we must travel in the direction of our fear because fear is what fuels us further along our journey. And as we move along in our journeys, it is the education and skills we have developed at this school that will drive us toward our ultimate successes. So, as I finish up my speech, I hope to leave you with one last thing. Don't look back at your moments in high school with regret and thinking about what could have been. Instead, I urge you to use those moments as a guide for your future decisions as you travel into the unknown and shape your destiny. Poet David Moulton once said, we can't live in the past, but it lives in us. Thank you, and best of luck in your journey. I hope our paths get tangled together again. The graduates from the class of 2023 have made some notable accomplishments over the last four years. I would like to take some time to reflect upon their high school journey and delve into their group's individual and group achievements. 
During the duration of the spring season, our performance music groups proudly displayed their abilities at the spring concerts. Many of our musicians have committed countless hours during their four years performing in many formats. With those seniors who were in jazz band, vocal jazz ensemble, concert band, pin manor marching unit, orchestra, managed singers, and chorus, please stand. We have, we have multiple seniors qualified for PME A competitions over the course of the school year. Please stand up if you qualify for county band, orchestra, or chorus. Some of our students qualified for the round, um, even higher round, of regional or state chorus. Would one senior excelled in Pennsylvania Music Asso Educators Associating competitions and qualified for regional and state competitions. Nicole Chen, will you please stand up? <laughs> On May 10th, our student athletes were recognized at our senior awards night. I have been impressed by the senior leadership that helped establish a culture that makes our athletes succeed in and outside of the classroom. The class of 2023 have 16 students that signed a letter of intent to continue their sports career in college. Will those athletes please stand up? We wish you the best in the future. A number of you have been on teams that have competed in sectional titles, league titles, district titles, and have competed in states. Would our senior athletes please stand up? <laughs> the Pym Manor Athletic Department was awarded many team accolades given over the 22-23 school year. But I'd like the time to take to highlight just a few of them. Field hockey, section and league champions, PIAA state qualifiers with four, fourth place finish in districts. Girls Soccer, PIAA state qualifier by advancing to District 3 semifinals. Girls Bowling Team, PA state runner-up, that's second. Bowling Team, second in the league championship. Girls Volleyball, District 3 quarterfinals. Boys Lacrosse, District 3 quarterfinals. Girls Lacrosse, District 3 quarterfinals. Baseball, Boys Volleyball and Softball, and softball qualify for District 3 championships. And will the next four, four no, the next three or four, four students please stand up? Catherine Baden, Carly Keene, and Annie Bibas, and Caitlin McGuff. <laughs> Catherine is a four-time leave in District 3 AAA Championship, the first tennis player to ever to accomplish that feat. Carly Keene is All-State in soccer. Annie Bibas is first team All-State in field hockey. And Caitlin McGuff is second team All-State in field hockey. On May 25th, we held our 56th annual commencement award ceremony. I said that again. Our, our senior award ceremony. At, and at this year's ceremony, we had 100 students receive a distribution of awards overing $100,000. A special thank you to the Penn, Penn Manor Educational Foundation for ever increasing the number of scholarships that have been created to assist our graduates. Will the seniors who received an award at a senior awards night please stand? On May 30th, 92 seniors who attended the Lancaster County Career and Technology Center received their certificates of accomplishment at the CTC awards ceremony. Prior to their senior year, these students made the decision to begin their technical training and prepare for their careers by studying at the CTC. Would all the seniors who attended the CTC please stand? Throughout their four years, members of the senior class have played a significant part in quality productions of our theater program. Would all the seniors who have been involved in our theater program please stand? <laughs> the 
Nine of those seniors have been inducted into the International Thespian Society. These students were wearing a white stole this evening. Will those seniors please stand? <laughs> to be eligible for induction into this club, a student must earn 10 points with each theater point being equivalent of 10 hours of quality theater participation on and off the stage. One of our seniors has earned the title of honor thespian, Amber Floyd, with over 60 points individually. Amber, please stand up. <laughs> Two of our seniors have reached the national honors thespian status with 1,200 or more hours of service. Will Sean Hoffman and Max Ponton please stand? Seven senior FFA members received Keystone degrees, the highest honor a student in FFA can earn for their leadership and success in agriculture. These students are wearing a gold stole. Will those students please stand up? In addition, there are other members who represent the Manor and LCCTC FFA in service and educational activities. Would all of our senior FFA members please stand? A number of our seniors have been involved in the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts of America and have achieved the rank of Eagle Scout and the Gold Award. Would those two students that have earned Eagle Scout and Gold Award please stand up? <laughs> Throughout their career at Penn Manor, we have had several members of this graduating class compete in local, state, and national levels in a variety of competitions. Would all of those students have competed at those levels please stand? Last year, the Penn Manor School District partnered with Children Deserve a Chance Foundation of Lancaster to offer 20 members or 30 members of the senior class an opportunity to learn more about themselves, leadership, and college exploration process. 28 of those seniors complete the six-week Atala Recruit program in which they arrive at school at 5.30 a.m. three days a week to take part in the program. Many of these seniors have continued through the Atala Scholar program to determine which college is right for them. Would all of our Atala Scholars please stand? Much of the success of this senior class comes from the leadership of those in these groups. Many of you have taken on the responsibilities to come with being a leader. You served as captains, section leaders, drum majors, editors, officers, class officers, and directors. Would all of our senior leaders please stand? This year, many of our students took advantage of the state dual enrollment program that allows students to take college cal classes while in high school. Many seniors have taken classes at Millers U Millersville University, Harrisburg Area Community College, Pennsylvania College of Health and Science, and Lexer Bible College. We had 25 students that took a total of 100 credits at college during their time at Penn Manor. Would all those seniors who earn college credits while in high school please stand? Special thank you to the seven students that enrolled and completed their first year of schooling at Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology this year. With all of those individuals that spent their senior year at Thaddeus Stevens, please stand. This year, we had 269 Penn Manor students took 412 advanced placement exams in 27 different subjects during the month of May. Would those seniors who challenged themselves with an AP class please stand? During the 2021-22 
school year, Penn Manor High School started its own math national honor society chapter. These students could be identified by a light blue and gold cord. With those students who are members of the math NHS, please stand. The members of the National Honor Society are wearing a light blue sash. Will the NH members please stand? The names of these students, the names of the students who are in the MAF NHS and NHS are marked in the program. Pitt Manor High School is dedicated to equipping students for their future endeavors beyond high school. We have consistently emphasized the importance and thoughtful consideration when it comes to post-secondary training. It is, it is with immense pride that we announced that 66% of our class of 2023 have chosen to pursue further education at either a four-year or two-year institution. Furthermore, an impressive 34% of our graduates have made a definite decision to embark on their chosen careers immediately after graduation. We express our utmost gratitude to our faculty for their unwavering commitment into preparing these students for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead of their post-high school lives. Joining the long list of Penn Manor alum who are currently serving our country, six members of the senior class will be joining the United States military. Would all the seniors entering the armed forces please stand? A special acknowledgement to Tegan Rogers, who already enlisted and graduated and left to serve this past spring semester. Leading, <laughs> leading this class is our Val Victorian and our Salutatorian. The Val Victorian and Salutatorian are determined by the highest grade point average over the course of the four years at Penn Manor. Izzy Clegg is our Val Victorian of the class of 2023. Izzy will be attending Rochester Institute of Technology in the fall to major in biomedical engineering. The salutatorian is Jenna, Jenna Devenny. Jenna will be attending Rochester Institution of Technology in the fall to major in chemi chemical engineering. Both will make it to this stage. Hold on. Izzy and Jenna are being presented with a medal that recognizes their accomplishment. In addition, Izzy will receive the Dr. D.L. Bismuthdorf Award for $500 from the Penn Manor Alum Association. Jenna is receiving the Miss Mary Fillings Clemmer Award for $500 from the Penn Manor Alumni Association. These awards are endowed by the Penn Manor Education Foundation. Thank you, ladies. Next, we would like to recognize those students who have graduated with honors, have maintained a 4.0 GPA, high, higher or higher grade point average, or both honors and GPA, or 4.0. We attribute the high number of students graduating with this distinction to the fact that those students enrolled in weighted honors and advanced placement classes and college courses that they, are, they work very hard on. 12 students have graduated in, with in our honors program, and they're receiving this distinction between graduating between a 3.75 GPA, taking three years of a foreign language with a B or better, four AP credits, and five honors classes with a B or better in each. They will be receiving a pin with their diploma. 25 of our students are graduating with a 4.0 or higher GPA. These students will be receiving a medal with their diploma. 57 of our students are graduating with honors and with a 4.0 GPA or higher. Will these students please stand and remain standing when I say your name? Students that are graduating with honors. Brooke Adams. Can we hold the applause till end? I have quite a few names. Emily Kassline. Hunter Evans. Anna Gigak. Michael Evans. Catherine Rabadin. Grace Seeger. William Stover. Spencer Stewart. Ariana Suggs. Paula Torres, Mary Warner, remain standing. 
additional student staff graduating with a 4.0 GPA or higher, Micah Adams, Ella Co Coleman, Riley Dean, Emma Dingus, Colette Evans, Patrick Fain, Brooke Fry, Rolani Garcia, Hannah Quay Jr., Benjamin Hermeson, Mitchell Jackson, Seth Kaufman, Paige Kindig, Austin King, Nathan Mitzer, Madeline Mitchell, Max Ponton, Caitlin, Caitlin Ponce, Zachariah Tofrey, John Tomlinson, I mean Jaden Tomlinson, Brittany Ulmer, Carly Weber, Logan Whitfield, James Wright, Jimena Yanez Reyes, and then the next day remaining. And then our students are graduating with honors and a 4.0. Abby Ams, Anna Bibas, Bria Booth, Allison Burkholder, Sherilton Charles, Nicole Chen, Olivia Cox, Jenna Devenning, Adam Dittmer, Natalie Doyle, Benedict Flinchball, Amber Floyd, Leah Forrest, Bella Fulmer, Stefan Gabhart, Alyssa Guzman, Jenna Haldeman, Aaron Harnish, Jabril Hatter, Jessa Heimerly, Heimerly Landon Hertz Herzog, James Hightower, Alyssa Jones, Elijah Julian, Aiden Carlo, Carly Keene, Abby Kelly, Maisie Kemmer, Izzy Clegg, Adeline Klein, Jackson Knob, Emma Landis, Madeline Lavelle, Ryan Liebel, Annalise Mann, Miranda Martin, Cassie McCollin, Kieran McFall, Blessed Mugomba, Gertrude Mugonge, Jewel Murphy, Natalie Meyer, Olivia Parcell, Caitlin Quinn, Wyatt Rohrer, Caitlin Roth, Natalie Nathan Smicky, Aaron Shipley, Isabel Siebold, and Angela Spinelli, Lauren Stoner, Gabriel Sullivan, Griffin Swigert, Luke Thomas, Reagan Webster, Lexi Wilson, and Peyton Whitmer. Now we can fly. Congratulations to all your academic success. Our final award is the Student of the Year. This is the 11th year of this award. The faculty votes on this award from all of the students who have been chosen as Student of the Month over the past four years. Selection is based on academics, service, leadership, and participation in school activities. With the 31 seniors who have selected as Students of the Month during their ninth and 12th grade years, please stand. Our student, our student of the year with this group was voted on by the entire faculty. Lauren Stoner, will you please come forward? The Millsville Women's Club is proud to sponsor the Student of the Year Award and is pleased to present Lauren with a medal and $100. Congratulations to all of our students for the success they've achieved throughout the school year. Congratulations to Lauren. I do have one more recognition before I leave the podium. At the conclusion of his term, this person is leaving Penn Manor School Board of Directors. He has served in different committees and roles on the board since 2003, before all the students in the crowd were born. Most recently, Herc Rents has served as the board president for the last four years. We owe Herc Rents a great deal of thanks for helping guide Penn Manor School District to so many accolades and accomplishments over his time served on the school board. And we wish him the best in his future. Please join me in acknowledging Mr. Herc Rents one last time.
And as we like to say, once a comment, always a comment. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Jenna Devinney, and I have the honor of standing before you and delivering this speech to you this evening. I would like to begin by expressing my gratitude to all the people who helped us get here. When I was in the depths of procrastination before writing this speech, I thought that thank yous would be the easiest thing to write and therefore a safe bet to start with. But as it turns out, I was wrong because there are so many people to thank that I could never fit them all in this speech. Nonetheless, I will try my best to hit the highlights. I would like to thank all of the audience members, especially my own family members, for being here today and subjecting yourselves to several hours of speeches, formalities, and pomp and circumstance. Your presence is deeply appreciated, and I'm sure your support is a large part of why your student is graduating today. I would like to thank the faculty and staff of Penn Manor for dedicating countless days to preparing us for this moment. Thank you especially to Mr. Ryan King and Mr. McGlynn for dedicating their time and effort to running independent study sections of their traditionally in-person classes. Without them, I would not have been able to take several of my favorite classes and the classes that were instrumental in giving me the opportunity to stand here tonight. I would also like to recognize the students and staff of the Penn Manor Music Department, especially those in the Penn Manor Marching Unit, for the impact that they have had on my life. Thank you for giving me a space to grow as a musician and as a person, and thank you for being the people with me in my favorite memories. I'll miss all of you, but I can't wait to see what you do in the future. My running joke with friends throughout high school was that my goal was to graduate with the fifth highest GPA, because at Penn Manor, that is the highest rank one can achieve without being asked to give a speech at graduation. When I learned that I had not successfully achieved this goal, I felt unprepared and unqualified. It was not until I found myself awake at 4 a.m. on Friday, desperately scrolling through WikiHow articles on how to write a speech, that, is, that I decided perhaps it was best to accept my shortcomings and instead rely on the words of someone more prepared and more qualified than I am, my father. My father often tells me that our family motto should be, if nothing else, we show up. I don't remember the first time he said it, but I'm sure I was annoyed to hear it because it sounds like a motto for people who get too excited about participation awards. However, after hearing it many times since then, I've decided that there is no better motto to follow. I hope all of you, even the participation award haters in the audience, are willing to hear me out because my goal is to convince you of the value of showing up. My fellow graduates and I have been told all our lives, especially within the past four years, that the world is full of possibilities. We have sat through countless class meetings, college and career fairs, counseling sessions, and everyone's favorite, Zello lessons. We have been shown infinite futures where we change the world, whether it's through playing football or fixing cars or designing engines or curing disease. I believe these futures are possible for us, and I hope we pursue them to the fullest extent of our abilities. I also hope that we bear in mind the inevitable imperfections that will be in our futures whether it's failing to make the football team, or crashing the car, or forgetting the design deadline, or being unable to cure a patient. It is a terrible thing to know that sometimes, no matter how good your best effort is, it will not be enough. It is frightening to enter a world where we know that we will face failure. I know that we will be tempted at times to give up. Graduates, when we face that temptation, I hope you remember that in difficult times, failing is not the worst thing that can happen. The worst thing that can happen is failing to even try. To loosely paraphrase President Theodore Roosevelt, another person more qualified than myself, it is not the critic who counts, but the person fighting in the arena who, if they should fail, at least fails while daring greatly. When our best is marred by exhaustion and frustration and heartbreak, and all we can do is show up, showing up is the right thing to do. If we fail even then, at least we will have entered the arena, and in doing so, we will have fought to make the world a better place. It is far better to earn a participation award than it is to allow fear to force you out of the arena. My fellow graduates, I wish you all the best. I can't wait for us to live out all the dreams that we have for our futures. 
My challenge for all of us is to do our best in every moment, especially when it means, if nothing else, showing up. Thank you and congratulations.
Good evening, fellow classmates, friends, family, staff, teachers, and all others who have joined us tonight. As many of you probably know, my name is Abby Ames, and I have had the honor of being your class president these past two years. Let me start by saying that I was once told I would probably not be as successful as others in life because I was too quiet to be a leader. I stand before you today to serve as a testimony that while stepping outside of your comfort zone is uncomfortable, you can overcome adversity and self-doubt when you let yourself get comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. You are not what others say you are, so never be afraid to grow your talents and gifts to achieve your goals. Today is an important day as we come together to celebrate one of our most significant accomplishments yet. As we say goodbye to this incredible, overwhelming, challenging, but rewarding journey that we embarked upon together, I hope that you feel prepared for the future and ready to use the lessons learned to take the next step. It is a privilege to stand before you tonight and speak about all of the great things we have accomplished and overcome. First and foremost, I would like to extend a huge thank you to all of the families and friends who have supported us throughout this remarkable chapter. Thank you for believing in us even when we doubted ourselves. Your endless encouragement, love, and sacrifices have ultimately shaped us into the young adults we are today. Mom, Dad, Amanda, Dustin, Jana, Allie, Alyssa, Addie, and Aiden, thank you for being my support system through these challenging years. The countless minutes spent helping me with homework and the time spent driving around to all of my games and races shows your unwavering support, and I am forever grateful for all of you. To our dedicated teachers, staff, and school board, Thank you for making Penn Manor a great place to learn. Thank you for passionately teaching us day in and day out. Thank you for challenging us and helping us reach our full potential. Thank you for nurturing our curiosity. You have not only taught us the fundamentals of your classes, but you have also instilled in us a desire to learn. Your guidance has been invaluable, and we are forever grateful for the time you have invested in us and in our future. I would especially like to thank a few teachers, Mr. Ohl, Thank you for helping me find my passion in health and physical education. Mr. Vrabel, thank you for making me believe in myself. Ms. Vita, thank you for making learning fun and also for being a walking ray of sunshine in the halls every day. And although it took until my last semester of high school, Mr. Marchio, thank you for making me find purpose in and enjoyment in math. Fellow graduates, we are here today as a testament to our resilience, determination, and hard work. It is no doubt that our class has been through some chaotic events, not only have we overcome late nights of studying, heavy workloads, the pressure of exams, and balancing extracurricular activities, but also a global pandemic and a nationwide shutdown. Coming into high school, we all had an idea of how it was going to go. Unfortunately, a thing called COVID derailed those plans mid midway through our freshman year. As much as I hate to bring it up, it is impossible to talk about our high school years without it. A single school closure announcement led to months of quarantine followed by another disrupted school year. Although COVID provided plenty of hardships for our class of 2023, we as a class showed perseverance and strength to get us through. We still managed to push, push ourselves beyond our limits and embraced every opportunity for growth through academics, sports, music, theater, and many other activities. The class of 2023 provided the high school and district with some of the most thrilling sports seasons and events to date. Many of our sports teams made appearances at leagues, districts, and the state playoffs. Our music department members received recognition at the highest level, and our other clubs and activities received top-notch honors and recognition by the community and state. The medals and trophies won are a keepsake and a reminder of the successes and triumphs our classmates obtained. As we move on to the next chapter, I hope that you live in the moment and do not take anything for granted. I hope that as you move forward through college, trade school, the military, or as you enter the workforce, that you take a moment to count your blessings because we truly have so much to be thankful for. Appreciate the little things because as we know, the simplicity and normality of life can be changed in an instant. I hope that you cherish the relationships and friendships you have created, the laughter we have all shared, and all the core memories that have defined our graduating class. Each one of us has a unique story filled with moments of triumph and moments of struggle. These stories are nowhere near finished though, and there is plenty of happiness and hurt still ahead. I can only hope that as you leave the walls of this school, that you are filled with excitement and anticip anticipation for the future and have minimal regrets. Graduation marks the end of this chapter and the start of another. As you step into the future and embark on whatever path you have chosen, I hope that you do it with pride, integrity, resilience, and courage. Penn Manor has equipped us with the knowledge and skills needed to tackle complex challenges that lie ahead. 
With this comes responsibility and the opportunity to lead. Our generation has the ability to shape the future. Let us use our education not for personal gain, but to benefit those around us. Congratulations, my fellow classmates. I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. As you take, th take this next step, I encourage you to be a light for others and do not be fearful of the future. Before I pass the torch onto the class of 2024, I want to leave you with Jeremiah 2911. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Now, as the senior class prepares to leave the high school and start the next chapter in our lives, we reflect on how we have parted wisdom on the future senior class, offering insight on how to deal with being a senior and what it means to lead the school. As the classes before us have done, our seniors leave their mark on Penn Manor High School, leaving both our influence and legacy on the student body. I now pass this torch onto our class of 2024 class president, Saran Clark, instilling the responsibility to lead your class, asking you to make a lasting impact on the community at Penn Manor High School and represent your senior class with pride. You are the new generation of Penn Manor seniors. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. My name is Seren Clark, and I have the distinct honor of standing here today as the class president of the class of 2024. As the junior class president, it is my honor to accept this token of accomplishment from the class of 2023. Graduates, congratulations. This is an enormous milestone that all of you have worked hard to achieve. Together, you have worked to emerge over a significant barrier and into the light that will form the next steps of your life. No matter what you will do after high school, the junior class is confident that each of you will be successful in your endeavors. Many of you have faced countless boundaries in getting to where you are today. COVID, construction, and other personal experiences have challenged you, yet you are here. Being a year below you, juniors have had the experience of observing your perseverance and diligence in overcoming every challenge that has come your way until you got to the chair in which you sit today. You have served, you have served as friends, classmates, teammates, and an inspiration to many juniors, leading us to become the best people that we can be. With you as our guide, we will work to have an impact on Penn Manor and to become the best students, athletes, musicians, and people possible. Each of you has had an impact on some other person at Penn Manor, and on behalf of the junior class and all classes below, thank you for everything that you have done to make this school, this district, and this community a better place and to lead everybody by example. More than that, seniors, you have made a difference. So as the junior class accepts this torch, we would like to thank you once again for your distinct contributions and wish you the best of luck in the future. Parents, teachers, administrators, the school board, thank you for the role that you have played in every Penn Manor life. And the junior class looks forward to continuing to improve this school, this district, and this community alongside you. Seniors, may you let your talents, skills, and personalities flow on full force, and shall you never turn that faucet off. Good luck, congratulations, and have fun, graduates. But don't forget, go Comets. Thank you. Dr. Girl, <clears throat> Dr. Gell, and the members of the board of school directors, the Penn Manor class of 2023 have been completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Board of Education. I am proud to present the class to you.
Mr. Jones, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I accept these graduates and proudly present them to you, Mr. Rintz, President of the Board, for the presentation of diplomas. Dr. Gale, it gives me great honor to accept the members of the class of 2023 for the receiving of their diplomas. Abigail Marie Ames, Isabel Grace Clig, Jenna G. Divini, Sarah Yasir Abdalabab, Jaden Anthony Abel, Brooke Adams. Micah Leigh Adams, Trevor N. Adams, Adrian J. Aguirre Moore, Katie L. Albright, Jonathan Raul Aldez Sanchez, Thomas James Alexander, Luis Yandel Alvarez, Paola N. Alvarez Hernandez, Zach J. Anderson, Mia Elaine Anger, William Charles Onspach, Morgan P. Appler, Fidel Asculu, Matthew Allcamp Jr. Morgan Elizabeth Avery, Keegan Thomas Baldridge, Timothy J. Fry, Tyler Smith, Christian Joseph Barbuska, Tyler Barnes, Gavin M. Basil, Austin W. Beats, Lucas A. Bechtel, Anne Elizabeth Bibas, Anna Elizabeth Bigelow, Courtney A. Bose, Noah M. Bolin, Petit Remy Bongago, Bria Booth, Samantha N. Bowermaster, Garrett T. Brenneman, Grace Alyssa Bresch, Elias Brito, Logan Broderick, Madison Nicole Brown, Rico Nelson Brown, Olivia G. Bruner, Sophie Lee Burgess, Zarina Elizabeth Burkhart, Alex Jade Burkholder, Allison Nicole Burkholder, Luisa Fernando Calero Molina, Davon Campbell, Josephine Melody Campbell, Nathan Carl, Monet L. Carroll, Ian G. Castaneda, Emily M. Castline, Sheridan Marie Charles, Nicole Chen, Elijah J. Cherry, Donovan James Chrisman, Jake and Jamiroquai Clark, Caitlin R. Clawson, Jaden Marie Coble, Ella Ann Coleman, Skyler M. Collins, Naomi N. Cologne, Olivia 
Ann Cox. Kayan R. G. Creasy. Austin James Kernali. Angel Cruz. Jael Alexander Cruz Santos. Sandy Dang. Norelise De Jesus Ortiz. Caden Dean. Riley Dean. Kyler Christian Denlinger. Jaden T. Denlinger. Damian J. Dennis. Jessica DeGento. Kamana J. DeMall. Maria Ann Diaz. Meadow Dim. Emma E. Dingus. Elena Grace Dashulo. Adam Joseph Dittmer. Heather Douglas. Aiden Green Doyle. Joshua Thomas Doyle. Natalie Elizabeth Doyle. Kathleen Marie Drayton. Paige Isabella Dubs. Kylie Nicole Emmerich. Hunter Russell Herb. Colette Josephine Evans. Hunter M. Evans. Michael T. Evans. Angelina Ewing. Patrick J. Fahey V. Leslian Figueroa. Keaton Fisher. Benedict C. Flinchball. Amber Carissa Floyd. Andrew W. Forrest. Leah Ann Forrest. Ethan Patrick Fox. Emma Marie Freilich. Colton A. Francer. Dylan Franklin. Brooke Nicole Fry. Tyler David Fry. Grant L. Fry. Cassandra Lynn Fry. Jordan Matthew Freimeyer. Bella Grace Fulmer. Phoenix W. Ganzel. Logan P. Gallagher. Jocelyn M. Garcia. Raylani I. Garcia. Stefan Gebhardt. Jeremy Michael Gegg. Anna Gigak. Kaylee M. Godshaw. Annalise Gonzalez Cancro. Camilla Goodley. Amet Gordu. Dean Joseph Allen Greer. Madison Elaine Greer. Bryn L. Groff. Alyssa Y. Guzman. Dominic Davion Guzman. Nathan Michael Haybecker. Jordan M. Hagelgantz. Jenna Celeste Haldeman. Peter Christopher Hamill. Quay S. Hanner Jr. Aaron J. Harnish. Jabrielle Hatter. Connor Heim. Derek E. Heiselman Jr. Charles Edwin Heaston. Jessica Page Hemmerly. Benjamin Wilson Hermanson. Robert Lee Hershey III. 
Landon T. Herzog. Caleb C. Hess. Corey Michael Stephen Horn. Cody A. Hess. Colton Micah Hess. Tyler Hess. James Hightower. Austin Emmerich Hill. Grace M. Hofford. Sean David Hoffman. Adam M. Hollinger. <laughs> Natalie N. Horn. Tyler Hostetter. <laughs> Liam P. Howe. Elizabeth Ann Hubbs. Toriana Marie Hutton. <laughs> Lindsay Marie Eisenhower. Mitchell Jackson, Chase Jamison, Destiny LaVey Jenkins, Natia L. Jenkins, Alyssa Marie Jones, Mia Bella Jeanette Jones, Jamie A. Jones Swartendruber. Adriana Joy, Elijah Julian, Aiden B. Carlo, Seth C. Kaufman, Jordan B. Kautz, James A. Keck, Roman R. Kiefer, Carly Jane Keene. Michaela Paige Keller. Rowan P. Kellers. Abby Lynn Kelly. Maisie Jane Kemmer. Justin Kendig. Paige Olivia Kendig. Austin Rolland King. Adelaide M. Klein. Jackson J. Knob. Tyler Nepp. Jack J. Karosik. Quinton W. Kraus Batten. Sun Coons. Colin Douglas Combs Landis. Donovan M. Landis. Emma May Landis. Bradley J. Lockhoff. Madeline Grace Lavelle. Dylan James Lead. Brandon E. Lefevre. John Charles Lefevre. Rex A. Leonard. Ryan Christopher Liebel. Kayla N. Lineberry. Alex Lazardi Laraquente. Damian Lopez. Jesslyn E. Lopez. Matthew Austin Lowe. Jeremiah Lee Lugo. Matthew Anthony Lugo. Jordan P. Lundeberg. Litzy Luperon Diaz. Ian A. Lutter. 
Aaliyah Marie Masonette. Bethlehem A. Manado. Annalise M. Mann. Joshua Alexis Manzania. Jordan Eugene Martin. Miranda Martin. Olivia Lee Martin. Owen L. Martin. Kelvin Martinez. Cassidy Grace McCollum. Kieran Shane McFall. Caitlin J. McGuff. Owen James McLean. Ryan S. McMullen. Stasia Elizabeth Malott. Madison A. Malones. Ashley Mendez Gomez. Abram Joseph Miller. Nathan M. Miller. Nathan E. Mincer. Madeline Mitchell. Blessing McKenna McGumby. Gertrude Moenga. Gracia M. Molina Sterling. Devin M. Moose. Jaden L. Morales. Emilio Geraldo Morales Ramos. Regan G. Murnan. Joel Murphy. Brady Michael Musser. Natalie A. Meyer. Clayton Myers. Michael T. Nastasi. Abigail E. Nesmith. Michael Newman. Kendall Nevins. Caleb Noden. Dylan Michael Knoll. Jack Herbert Nanamacher. Kaylee Paige O'Brien. Sophia Elvira Officer. Bethany Nicole Osborne. Avery S. Parker. Gabriel Jack Palmer. Olivia May Parsley. Will Betsy Pena Serrano. Jaden Perez. Kelvin Daniel Perez Jr. Rafael Perez III. Chloe Noel Perry. Zachariah Phillips. Maximilian S. Ponton. Caitlin May Ponce. Teresa Lane Porter. Caitlin Marie Quinn. Catherine Ella Rabatin. Francis Camille Rain. Caitlin M. Reem. Delilah C. Rebman. Colin James Reaver. Joseph J. Reisinger. Leela C. Ressler. Mabel Reynoso Reyes. Garrett L. Rainier. Sebastian Rivera Leon. 
Aliyah Marie Rodriguez Rourke. Ismael Robles Jr. Jaheem Paul Rodriguez. Malvin Rodriguez. Kevin Leandro Rodriguez Nazario. <clears throat> Private First Class Tegan Michael Rogers. Accepting on his behalf is his mother, Danielle Rogers. Tegan graduated early to fulfill his military obligation in the Army National Guard and is currently stationed in Texas, completing his combat medic training. <laughs> Wyatt J. Rohrer. Georgiana S. Ronan. Alan Wayne Rose, Jr. Autumn Ross. Ryan Roth. Tr Trevor Jordan Salzman. Brianna Sanchez. Daniel Santana. Aiden P. Schlegel. Evan Thomas Schlegel. Nicholas Aaron Schlegel. Nathan Charles Schmitke. Trevor B. Schneider. Grace Olivia Seeger. Tyler Schenk. Aaron E. Shipley. Julie M. Shirk. Nathan M. Shirk. Eric R. Shirley. Riley Sue Schultz. Isabella G. Siebold. Forrest Arthur Cemento. Peter N. Skiatis. Lacey Slaymaker. Drake George Smith. Ezekiel J. Smith. Harley David Smith. Justin D. Smith. Madison Rayanne Smith. Thomas Mayher Soriel. Angela Joy Spinello. Connor M. Sperling. Dominic T. Stahl. Deshaun Nasir Stanley. Dante Christopher Salato. Joshua Stock. Lauren P. Stoner. Samuel Robert Stover. William Stover. Jericho J. Strohmeyer. Laura Lynn Strasser. Spencer Stewart. Ariana N. Suggs. Griffin Ferris Swigart. Kiera Janelle Schweitzer. Zachariah Taufik. Louis R. Then Frias. Luke Anthony Thomas. Cole R. Tome. Haley M. Thompson. Jaden Robert Thompson. Brandon Michael Thornton. Matthew Topper. 
Jaden Yvonne Torres. Paula Torres. Jacob Trimble. Chance Ashton Troop. Carter Trout. Aiden Tyson. William R. Valentine. Yageli Marie Valenzuela Martinez. Matthew R. Valverde Garcia. Charlie Armando Van Cleve. Alize Vasquez. Alinus N. Velasquez. Caden Eileen Vest. Sarah Gutierrez. Brian Venasco. Clark Covey Wagstaff. Abigail J. Walborn. Liam Ira Ward. Eli M. Warfel. Kelsey Warner. Mary Elizabeth Warner. Ryan James Way. Carly E. Weber. Reagan Elizabeth Webster. Dalton Dewey Wedge. Madeline Whited. Logan J. Whitfield. Isaiah Allen Wilson. Lexi Joe Wilson. May Mackenzie Elizabeth Wilson. Evan M. Winters. Kip Whitmer. Peyton M. Whitmer. Braden J. Wolf. Alexis Brooklyn Daphne Worrell. James M. Wright. Oliver J. Wright. Jimena Yanes Reyes. Madison L. Yecker. Bethany Jane Young. Trinity Zerbe Straussball. Brendan Zimmerman. Members of the class of 2023, on behalf of the entire Board of School Directors, congratulations. Now, why not? <laughs> by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and as president of the Penn Manor School Board, I declare the members of the class of 2023 to be officially graduated from Penn Manor High School. You may move your tassels.
Hello, I am Annie Vibus, and it is my pleasure to be speaking in front of you all tonight. While I am sure many of you are eager to get going, whether that be to start a whole new life or merely to go to bed, I invite you, my fellow classmates, to take a moment to look back on how you got here. And by that, I don't mean the bus ride. I'm talking about the culmination of the past 12 years. Focus on who you have met, what they have done, and how they have impacted you. Because 12 years ago, your life looked very different. And 12 years from now, your life will have changed a great deal more. Interactions are instrumental in shaping our futures. With every person we meet, our lives take a turn down a whole new street. Look to your left, look to your right. Who has held the door for you? Who has said hello to you? Who has smiled upon seeing you? We should appreciate the ones who have paved our roads, making life a little smoother traveling a little easier. It is at this time that I would like to express my gratitude towards the friends, families, and familiar faces out there in the audience. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Your support means the world. And to the teachers and administration, on behalf of the senior class, thank you for your devotion to our education. You have helped us to grow and succeed. Now, growth and success are not the same thing. You see, the former is progress, the latter is a perception. There is a poster in room B133 that I stared at for a while. It probably looked like I was staring at a wall, which I guess I was, but the poster resonated with me. One of the illustrations showed a straight line representing what people think success looks like. The other illustration showed a jumbled mess of a line. This is what success actually looks like. When we recognize our mistakes, we grow. When we rectify mista our mistakes, we succeed. Let's face it, bumps and scrapes and breaks and bruises are inevitable. Imagine walking into a supply closet thinking is your classroom. True story. When life pushes you down, remember those who pull you back up and show you the way. Remember them, thank them, be them. That way, the next time you see someone fall or take a wrong turn, be the one who stakes out a hand. These connections matter. I went to school expecting to become a better student, but by walking the halls of Penn Manor, I became a better daughter, sister, friend, teammate, and human as well. As commencement comes to a close, I think back to my kindergarten graduation. There was so much six-year-old Annie did not know she did not know. Standing on the stage, I realized that I am heading into the unknown once again. This time around, though, I am more experienced, experienced with positive interactions. Interactions, after all, live on past goodbyes. No matter where I go, I will forever be a comet, and so will you. We are all connected in this way, all of us. Therefore, cherish the bonds you have made. Make amends with an old friend. Reach out to a friend whom you haven't seen in a while. Keep your current friends close, but don't be afraid to expand your circle. Because when we leave here tonight, so many more people are going to enter our lives. More names, more faces. When we connect, we grow. When we grow, we succeed. And tonight, we have succeeded. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you.